What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Rhymes out here, and today I got a very special Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. Not only do we got some old school packs, like literally old schools, as you can see, we got the old uh, logos. We got four LOBs that I bought off off a of Troll and Toad. We got Feral Servant, as you can see, it is not the reprint from a couple years ago. It's like the original one from back in 1996. Unlimited days, by the way, not the first edition packs. And then we got Melorators, as you can see, old logo as well. And finally, Magic Ruler. But before we get into these, we also got this goodie box right here. So, big shout out to Kenny. Kenny sent me an email this past week and was like, Hey man, I just bought a bunch of cards. There's some packs. I'd rather you open them than I open them. Do you want the packs? And I was like, are you sure? Because, I mean, you know, I don't like taking other people's stuff. But he was like very adamant about it. And I'm like, sure. So, I gave him my P.O. box. Which, by the way, I do have a P.O. box uh, that I've been using on my main channel. And uh, little did I know, he sent me this. Now, I don't know what's inside it yet. He did mention there were packs. So, let's just go ahead and kind of pop into it real fast. I already opened. I didn't really look. And the first thing I see is... We got Dark Crisis! Dark Crisis, Mel Raiders, and we got some- Wait, hold on, there's a letter first. Let's actually le read the letter first before we look into anything. I'm trying not to have anything spoiled. Don't spoil it for me, camera. Let's see what this says. Alright. Uh, hey there, Rhyme Style. Please accept this gift from me to you, a fan of your Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon channel. It's rare enough to see Yu-Gi-Oh! related channel, and even rare to see one that has interest in grading Yu-Gi-Oh! I also collect and grade both Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, so your channel was perfect for me. I watch all the videos you upload daily, so I also come from time to time. Hope you, uh, hope you the best grading a PSA tent. PSA 10 Sound Magician and PSA 10 Blue Eyes Haunted Minds. Kenny uh, slash Zeke. Appreciate it. You know what, Kenny? I'm going to send you something. I didn't, because the fact that you said you like graded cards, I'm going to send you something. So expect a package from me over the course of the next couple days. So let's actually look into these first. Um, let's move this box out of Make sure I don't show my address, because you know how it be sometimes. Okay, let's see what we got. So first things first, we got Box of Friends. And oh, snap! Sega Phoenix, I love this card. You guys don't understand. I mean, I, I was never into playing the game at the time when this card came out. But uh, in, in, when it came down to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, I'm telling you, I ran Phoenix for literally months. Even past when the meta stopped being relevant to run um, Phoenix. I, I, I love Phoenix. The whole loop that you could have done with uh, Fire King Island and, and, uh, and Phoenix was just amazing. Is there more to that? Or is it just, that's just, that's just it. Yeah, that's just it. So just, we got Box of Friends. Which is awesome. And then we got Sega Phoenix of Neftis. That's dope. All right, let's put this to the side. We got some more goodies, though. We got something else. Karibo! We got a token Karibo. And two of them, actually. Two token Karibos. This is dope. I like how it's both uh, different perspectives. That's awesome. And then finally, we got... This is like a mystery card. What's it going to be? Kenny, you're spoiling me right now. You are absolutely spoiling me. Let's actually get into this so I can make sure I don't damage the card. And slide this bad boy out. What is this mystery card going to be? What did this man send me? What did this man send me? Let's find out. Slide it out. Looks like there's two cards in here. What's it gonna be? Oh my- Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, this is the Speed Duel! This is dope! First of all, this is one of the most gorgeous looking blue eyes I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my gosh, I have never seen this before. Dude, this is insane! Kenny, thank you so much! Bruh! <laughs> You guys know me, I love Blue Eyes, and that card is insane! I have to look this up, I don't even know what this is from. This is from, uh, looks like... It doesn't say jump on the bottom. So let me see what this is actually from, let me put this in the sleeve. This is, uh... No, it is, it's a jump promo. How did I miss this? How did I not know this card existed? This is incredible. And then, of course, we got a Speed Duel Dark Magician Girl. As you guys know, the Speed Duel, uh, Speed Duel uh, meta is taking over right now in IRL format outside of Duel Links. And the way it works is, uh, I think you can only run Speed Duel tag cards in Speed Duel decks. So this is dope. This is awesome. And this is super rare, I believe? Or is it just regular? No, it's just regular rare. This is awesome. This is incredible. I love these cards. Okay, so we got Metal Raiders, Metal Raiders, Metal Raiders, Invasion of Chaos, Invasion of Chaos. And then we got Dark Crisis, Dark Crisis, and Dark Crisis. All right, this is going to be a dope opening. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. So, let's go ahead. Let's do these first, actually, because, you know, Zeke sent these. So, this, you know, we, we got this for, for Zeke. You want me to call you Zeke or Kenny? I don't really know. Like I said, keep an eye out for your uh, inbox. I assume the, I can do the return address that you that you have listed. I'm going to send, send you some goodies. Because, you know, you, 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 you went out of your ways to send me these cards. You know, I got to send you something back. First pack, we got Robin Goblin, just a regular rare. I love these old packs, man. I love old cards. There, there's something about opening old cards that I just love. Like, I know these are just reprints from, like, 2014 or, or the last couple years. But still, something about seeing these old cards just triggers the, the inner Yu-Gi-Oh! fan inside me. And it just when I see these, I'm like, yes, yes, I love this. The smell, the art, the everything. It reminds me of a, a simpler time in the Yu-Gi-Oh! world. All right, pack number two. We got Launcher, Launcher Spider, Cocoon Evolution, and then a regular rare, regular rare Bladefly. As you guys already know, 
the, uh, if there's any hollows or hits, it will be in front of the regular rare when it comes down to it. Um, Invasion of Chaos. Let's see if we can go for Chaos Emperor Dragon. Now, I think I'm going to be uploading this video before I do my other Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. I have a bunch more being uh, scheduled as we speak. And I mentioned in the other videos that I'm going to be getting uh, more cards towards the end of the week. So you might actually see this video before you see the other sets of cards that I've, that I've already scheduled on the channel. So we got a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! content coming, so get excited. Uh, we got Primal Seed, and that means a regular rare Fuma Shuriken. Shuriken. Shuriken, can't speak as a regular rare. And then we're going to finish off by some regular... Um, Regular uh, uncommons or commons. What do you want to call them? I don't know. They're not technically called uncommons. It's just either you got rares, you got super rares, uh, ultra rares, secret rares, and then you got just regular non hollows, non whatever, non foil cards. Remember last time I, I referred to the back of the cards as uncommons and someone got triggered? But that's because I'm so used to opening Pokemon cards, and Pokemon cards usually have the uncommons in the back when you do the card trick and everything. Okay, next pack we got Balloon Lizard. Yellow Luster Shield, Inferno, and Ryukoki, which means regular Robin Zombie, regular rare over here. You know, it's fine. We're saving, we're saving the luck for the LOB packs. We are saving the luck for the LOB packs. That's, that's what a fun... Dude, I'm still just in awe over this beautiful blue eyes. Look at this. Oh, I just noticed Kaiba was in it too. All right, we're going to keep this in the back just so you guys can see that. All right, final Invasion of Chaos pack. Let's see if we can get some, some fire here. Let's see, let's see if we can get some Black Luster Fire. Chaos Emperor Dragon. Unveil... Envoy of the end or even the envoy of the beginning as you can see right there in front this you know what this is gonna have cast uh, black loss of soldier in, in, in the middle ready for this ready for this bam Ah, DD scout play it's a, it's, a, it's a super rare which is dope But not my boy not my boy black loss of soldier. That's fine. It's cool. Appreciate the cards Kenny All right, let's keep going uh, and then that's it. Hey at least we got a hollow out of it, which is dope I believe this is only like a 50 cent card at this point should be something in that, in that neighborhood usually like i said when it comes down to Yu-Gi-Oh cards you want the uh the hits the hits will be um more in the first edition lines especially with how much stuff is reprinted in Yu-Gi-Oh world so if you have the original versions of these packs in first edition and you get some hollows in there that's where the fire is uh, the reprints are so cool again they're really cool to uh to pull people do collect the unlimited versions as well but the real value berserk dragon there we go the real value always lies in the uh, first edition version of these cards. Berserk Dragon, that is dope. That is dope. We got a hollow right off the bat. An Archfiend Soldier, which I actually used to love this card as well. And then uh, here is the rest of the pack. All right, cool. Let's actually slide this over. Let me ask you guys a question. Who here actually plays the the Speed Duels version of the, of the meta? So the thing I like about Speed Duels so much is it captures, and I don't know how it is in the real game. I'm actually mostly going off of the, um, going mostly off of, uh, what should I call it? Um, Duel Links. In Duel Links, it was fantastic just due to the fact that it didn't have any of those crazy new metas from nowadays like Pendulum and, and Links and stuff like that. It was just kind of like the old school version of the game, but like very limited. It's kind of like they, that's what they're trying to basically revive when they went into Duel Links. And that's something that I really love about Speed Duels. But I don't know how Speed Duels actually is in the current meta, so if it is like that, let me know in the comment section below. And we just got a Skill Drain. Which is actually part of the big story that I remember. So there's a whole story around uh, this art, and I think it started with who was it? It was the uh, it was it was that skeleton monster. Uh, what was his name? F Fiend. There's so many cards around it. There's a whole story about it. Like uh, if you look up the video, like the crazy story told through Yu-Gi-Oh card or something like that. I forgot what the actual title was that tells the story. And this is one of those stories where basically Dark Ruler Hades gets his power taken away by uh, the monster that takes the revenge on him. I forgot the full story, but it's a really, really dope story. I actually talked about this a couple of weeks ago uh, when I did openings on this channel. All right, let's get into the next pack. Dark Crisis. Can we get Exodia Necros? That's what I want to know. I smell an Exodia Necros in this pack right here. You ready for this? Ready for this? Bam. 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 Ah, just a Cyber Raider, which means Skill Drain back to back. Regular rare in the back of that. It's fine. It's cool. It'd be like that sometimes. Again, I still love opening these packs. I actually love the fact that they made these uh, reprints because they're a lot more affordable and you can just get these packs nowadays and just relive it. I mean, I, I don't think they're very viable in the gameplay because they're so old, but still, like, reliving the moments to me is what it's all about. All right, we got Spell Reproduction, Battle Scarred, Falling Down, and Dicey Roll, which means Legendary Flame Lord, which is actually kind of cool as a regular rare. And then that's it. All right, Kenny slash Zeke, whatever you want to call me. Let me know down below, actually, what, what, what name you refer. I appreciate this gift. This is awesome, especially this blue eyes and the Dark Magician Girl from Speed Rules. It's incredible. You already know I, I got I to send these off. 
All right, let's get into uh, LOB now. And you know what? We'll save LOB for last because that's that's going to be a lot of fire. So let's go ahead and hop into the order of cards that I like. So let's do Metal Raiders first, the old school Metal Raiders. Let's see if we can get some fire. Let's see if I can get a... Uh, it's kind of hard to open. Let's see if we can get a... Uh, whatchamacallit? A... Um, uh, um, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Mirror Force! I don't know why I completely blanked on that. Let's, go, let's see if we can get an original Mirror Force in unlimited format. Okay, Sword of Deep Sea. These are kind of warped, actually. Nevatori and just Mask of Darkness. Yeah, but they're kind of warped, so I'm actually kind of glad that I got nothing good. Because, uh, yeah. Dude, even the quality of these cards feels different. Uh, as opposed to the one I just opened. They smell like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, too! Not that the other ones don't smell like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but they got this special kind of scent. Alright, let's go for Feral Servant again. Watch me pull Jinzo again. <laughs> I pulled Jinzo like three times in the past, like, couple of weeks. Opening Feral Servant, and I don't know why. Like, every single time I touch this set, I always pull Jinzo. Let's see what happens again. Will it happen again? Will it happen again? No, I just appropriate. That's fine. Driving Snow. Harpy's Brothers, you can see. This is now Sky Scout. These are the original old school cards. And then that's it. Alright, it's cool. It's fine. It'd be like that. Okay, Magic Ruler. Magic Ruler before we get into the actual Firefire of LLB, my favorite set. I know a lot of you guys love uh, LLB as well. In Magic Ruler, what is the one we want the most? Uh, Relinquish, maybe? I don't really. I forgot actually what was in Magic Ruler. Or the Light, Sonic Bird, Tyhoon, Electric Snake, and uh, Black Illusion Ritual. This is like my fourth time pulling this card. It's incredible, like fourth time, and it's a spell card at the top. So I think this is this is shortly after they changed the name. Wait a minute, that's actually interesting. So wait, hold on, hold on, time out, time out, time out. So it says spell card at the top. But it said Magic Ruler. As you guys remember, when they changed the name from uh, Magic to Spell Cards, they changed Magic Ruler as well into Spell. So that should say that should say Magic Ruler at the top, or pff, Magic Ruler. That should say uh, Magic Card at the top instead of Spell Card. Whatever, it's fine. Hey, it's a Hollow. I'll take it. Uh, and then here's the last two cards. Whiptail Crow is the final one. Let's put this bad boy in his sleeve. I like how I keep pulling the same Hollows. Because I pulled Black Illusion Ritual like twice now and uh, a third time in first edition format, so that's actually funny. But no, no relinquish to go along with it. All right, let's get into the goodies now. This is this is what we've been waiting for. Legend of Blue Eyes. Again, these are just unlimited, but they're still like if you pull was it if you pull um what's his face uh um uh, Dark Magician or Blue Eyes White Dragon, they're still pretty valuable actually. Masaki, the legendary swordsman, and warrior number one. Mountain and legendary sword. Wait, that means the next one's gonna be hit. Carbonal Warrior. I forgot that with these older sets, it's the next card after four, where you get the the actual hollow, or I guess the rare. Okay, first pack is a dud. Nothing too good. Let's get into the next one. It's gonna be. Give me, give me, give me, give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. What you got for me, game? Game. What you got for me, pack? What you got for me, pack? Ready for this? Urabi. So it's after this. Blue Eyes! Nah, just a Gravedigger goal. That's fine. As you can see, it says Magic Card at the top, as opposed to Spell. Again, in case you don't know, which I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, do notice. But in case you didn't know, they had that lawsuit back in the day that forced them to change it because of Magic the Gathering or something like that. Alright! Come on, where's the hits at? We got two packs left. We got two packs left. Do y'all believe? Because I believe. I definitely believe. Open this bad boy up. This is the one that's gonna be the hit. I smell it. I always say that. <laughs> I always say that. It's like, how did you know? I literally I always say that. And once out of like 20 times, I'm right. And it's like, wow, how did you know that? I just, I always say that. It's just me believing in the heart of the cards to get some fire. Next one's going to be it. Ah, just a giant soldier stone! <sighs> oh, it's fine. These packs are still a blast to open. It's still a blast. To These cards all suck, though. Like, they're just really, really bad. Like, you're opening LB mostly just for. The, the nostalgic factor, and again, the hopes of pulling like an Exodia or Dark Magician or uh, really Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes White Dragon. But hey, worst case scenario, if we don't get a Blue Eyes White Dragon, we still got a Blue Eyes White Dragon from, from our boy Kenny. All right, Two Mouth Dark Ruler, Armored Starfish, Metabat, Sandstone, the next one. Ah, just a regular rare Dark Fire Dragon. Nothing. You get nothing. Whatever, it's fine. That was still a lot of fun to do. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening, make sure you leave a like right below. Hit that thumbs up. Uh, again, um, appreciate the, the gift, Kenny. Much love to you. Again, keep an eye out in your mailbox. I'll email you as well. 
keep my eye on your mailbox over the course of the next couple of days or so. But I'm definitely going to send you something as like a little thank you. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. My name is Rhyme Style. This Blue Eyes is awesome. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.